All right, folks, out of breath anyway. Beautiful day here in Tennessee. Thankful to be here, folks. I want to show you the jig I made here. This jig is for soffit, and I made this to fit the DeWalt corded saw that we have. We have flipped the blade around. We flip the blade around to cut vinyl, soffit, siding, whatever. Anyway, so I made the jig, got tired of messing with the siding and especially messing with the soffit and made a jig for it. Got on YouTube, got a couple of ideas and then made my own with my ideas in there. So, uh, but I made this jig to fit this saw. So this saw will be designated for vinyl. Anytime we're doing vinyl, we'll pull out the DeWalt. It'll already have the blade flipped, uh, turned around, and uh, yeah, so that's it. So, and she barely fits. So let me show you kind of how this thing works. Let me show you what I do. What I do. We got tight working quarters here, folks, and it is hot to Molly. It is hot out here. It's 9:20. And uh, it is roasting already. Anyway, so on my house, doing soffit and siding. All right. I made this where it will last. I made it out of all five-quarter board that was left over. It's all left over, so it's cheap. It's free. Left over and a uh, scrap. And uh, that's it. It's all fi uh, five-quarter board. That is the floor of the decks if you don't know what five quarter board is but then we have two three quarter inch pressure treated all pressure treated two three quarter inch right here that we had and the reason i did the actual one by four is to get a good smooth edge because this has a rounded edge the five quarter board the decking has a rounded edge and up here where i run my saw I wanted a good, smooth, flat, square edge. All right, folks. So I made it to last. It is pressure treated. Now, all of this is dried out. Probably not 100%, but it is months old. It has been sitting around here for months. And a uh, very lightweight, uh, you know, all the moisture just about is gone. Um, I'm hoping it continues to shrink just a teeny bit more, uh, and I'm sure it will. Uh, I've got everything really tight right now. It can be loosened up a little bit, so if it shrinks, that'll be a good thing. If it doesn't, that's fine as well. But like I said, this one is made just for this DeWalt. I'm not sure. We got a Makita down here. I'm not sure if that Makita will work uh, on that. It'll be close. Uh, I can use the I can use the DeWalt cordless with just a little adjust, adjustment on this thing. I can unscrew this and uh, move it over and yeah, use that. So, I mean, it can be adjusted. That's what this is for. We can adjust and move them here or there to fit whatever. I could actually use it like it is. For this saw by just simply shaving a little bit of this top corner out which isn't needed at all but anyway so you can adjust it to fit any saw but it is set up to fit the corded DeWalt saw that's all designated for vinyl all right so I'll show you what I do I simply uh, now you can do this you know, a, a half a dozen different ways. Uh, what what I've been doing here, and I'm not a siding guy, but what I've been doing is I've been pulling my siding out a little bit, getting my mark, you know, marking it. We're marking 12 and 3 eighths of an inch. And so we'll pull it out. All right, so there's two pieces, two pieces there. I probably should have said that. Two pieces of uh, soffit there. And so you can cut a lot this way, folks. Uh, 
we're not halfway done with the soffit on the house. And I was like, you know what, this is ridiculous <laughs> doing it the way I was doing it. I am making a jig. And I, I got on YouTube, got some ideas, and then came up with my own. But this is it. I mark it. You can see that is where my blade goes. So I put my mark at that mark and just cut her on, folks. See how quick that is? You can imagine pulling out. Now you could, you can do a number of things. Put you a screw here, huh? Or some kind of little, you know, just a piece of wood. Screw it down. Temporary. Twelve and three eighths. Twelve and three eighths. Twelve and three eighths. Several different things you can do. Okay, um, let me get you off of here. All right, folks. So. You can see what I did here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five. This thing is four feet long, four feet. And then I've got five boards. One, two, three, four, five. All right, all I did was cut these at four feet. I put them together and then I screwed these on them. And then I flipped it back like it is sitting right here. So I did five of these, cut these at 27 and a half inch. That's the width of five of these boards that have shrunk. 27 and a half inch, pushed them together, made this at 27 and a half inch, put this one on. Now picture this thing flipped over and I put my back one on down there. And then I did the two middle, flipped it back over like it sits right here. And so I did four. Now I did this one right here because of course cutting will make this a little bit weak. Now I'll show you something else here in a minute. All right, and so then I did two four footers. And so uh, up here, for my guide one here and one here that's my guide see and so what I did to mark it is I simply got a piece of soffit and I made it tight I put a piece of soffit in there I got it just about halfway square even and all of that and I set this down and mark the back of it Set this one down up against the siding, pushed it tight, not tight, tight, pushed it a little snug, mark the back of it. And then with my siding in place, I screwed this in, both of them, and it made it tight. That way if this shrinks a little, which it probably will, it'll end up being perfect. All right, uh, this one on here is just a guide. Keep it from flopping up. And then you can see I did two at 24 and a half inch, which covers this. Goes from there to there. And I just simply, once I just, I put my skill saw on there, put them in place, roughly, didn't screw them down. Put my saw on there to see what I needed. Did my marks and screwed them in place. Did the same thing with the one by fours. And you want these to be one by fours because they're, at least this one, this one's a guide. Well, I'm messing up here. See, it's a guide. You push it all the way up against there. All right, folks, I mean, that's basically it. Take a peek at it. You wanna use your soffit as a, as a, 
a marking uh, component. So you put your soffit on there, put this on there, put this one on there, mark everything, actually screw it in with your soffit sitting on there. Uh, and then you do the same thing with the saw guide as you put your saw on there and figure out what you want and make sure it's the saw that you're going to use. I mean, see folks, we're barely, barely squeezing in there, just barely. Anyway, so, all right, so let's, uh, I believe that's dropped down all the way. And so you can see, let's put, let's get us a piece of wood here. Let's put this, hang on folks, just bear with me for a minute. All right, let's move all this. Let's put this up here, same height as that. That's what we rest our saw on, so we got the same height. All right, now let's put our guard up on our saw and throw it up there. All right, see that? Barely cuts through. And it's down all the way, and it barely cuts through. We actually don't have much room here. Uh, it, this thing is just like super tight. Uh, hopefully it'll shrink just a little. We got this, made it. I, I wanted to use this board that I used just because this wouldn't cut so far through this. But if it did, I have this here. And I've got it screwed in on this side and over on this side all the way down. Anyway, folks, that's it. This is a soffit siding jig makes it so much easier especially with the soffit but works awesome for the uh for the siding as well i mean you ever try to cut soffit and siding anyway folks that is it all right we'll see you